be 130. Okay. It's all the way down. Or you can go to the middle entrance. So okay. Go inside. Y'all, I just checked in. And I ran to my room. I'm out of breath because somebody got a dog. They didn't sound very nice. Anyway, I got me strawberry lemonade. Chicken Caesar salad from uh, Wendy's. About to put my pajamas on and eat. Room tonight at the hotel. Simple room, nice and clean. Bed nice and big so I can stretch out. And uh, yeah, it's real basic. My food right there. And uh, yeah. Hey y'all, let's talk about. Oh, I'm out of breath. All right, y'all, let's talk. Life after getting flim flammed. I don't have a particular uh, incident, um, but it's flim flam season. Nah, but for real, if you don't know what flim flam is, just Google it. You might have heard your mama, your grandmama, or somebody say flim flam before. And I have an old school. But anyway. Flim flam. Flim flam is basically anything that's insincere. Somebody trying to get over, you know, put the, pull the wool over your eyes. And um, as long as we live, we're gonna deal with people like that. There are snakes. There are people who, what do they say? Um, wolves in sheep clothing. And we are going to want to see the best in people and they turn out to be what people warned us or what we didn't even expect. It could be either one. And the reason I um, came up with this topic is because I was seeing some comments on um, YouTube and um, people were talking about trusting someone, a, a creator or not. You know and wanting to see the best in people and but just finding that they they really can't because of how they're moving and um i get that especially after you have experienced people just not being who you thought they were and especially if you fresh coming out of that like it's it's tough you like you rather play it safe and be safe than sorry but it's like, you know, I have to always try to have a positive message, but I get it. This is one thing I get, you know, because people get tired of being hurt or played, deceived, you know. But I think that's why discernment is important, um, why paying attention to patterns is important. Um, looking at things when people... If, if, a, if a person does anything weird on the onset, um, just have your antennas up and don't be afraid to back away gracefully. It doesn't mean we can't love people from afar and pray for them. And hey, God is God. So if, you know, if that's a friend, it'll be, maybe they'll get their stuff together. But if people are already moving weird, like right now, like right in your face. And uh, I, I, I personally would uh, advise to keep it pushing. I, that's what I'm gonna do right now in my life. Um, but it's hard to come to that conclusion because yeah, I, I like to give people grace, give people chances, um, have a higher faith in humanity. <laughs> but people gonna flim flam, people gonna scam. I said it's flim flam season because flim flam season is unfortunately year round. So if you've been flim flammed, you're not alone. Welcome. Welcome to America. <laughs> Welcome to the real world. And uh, just gotta keep pushing. This is life after the flim flam. I hope y'all enjoy this. That's it. Uh, 
I hope y'all enjoyed this episode. Um, keep keep pushing. All right, y'all. I'm going to order me something. Something not expensive. Because I don't know what was going on with that salad. I was so happy for that salad. I like to see the salad, but it wasn't looking right. And even how they put it in the bag, I should have paid attention. See, I just got flim flammed. You know, and they try to rush me out of there. But, uh, yeah. That's what I'm going to do and relax. Maybe make some more videos. And yeah. And have a boogie time. If y'all enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. I don't know if I said that already. And yeah. You go on. You go, girl. You go, boy. Watch out for the flim flammer. Of course, the day I come to the hotel, there was cops and police, like four or five of them. I don't know what happened. Probably flim flamming.